Hi, I'm Cam Moyland. We have talked before about how authors can use dialogue to avoid the dreaded info dump. In a nutshell, we do this by allowing an in the know character to explain necessary information to an ignorant character. When done well, this technique can not only be an effective way of avoiding the sin of the info dump, it can also be used to move the plot forward. However, there is a pitfall. In our attempt to avoid an as-you-already-know-Bob conversation, in which one character tells another character information they're both already familiar with, we take the necessary and obvious step of making one character ignorant of the facts. So far, so good. But what if there's no good reason for this character not to know what's going on? In a young adult book I recently read, the author uses this technique in his opening chapter by having the protagonist explain crucial details of the setting to another character. The only problem with this is that the second character, having lived in this setting all his life, had no business not knowing the answers to his questions. The author succeeded in his primary purpose of imparting information to the reader, but in the process he made his character look unnecessarily, and unrealistically, stupid. So, the next time you're scouting out possible characters for that all-important information in part in conversation, choose wisely. You need to select a character who can be ignorant for a good reason. Sometimes this means introducing entirely new characters, which in turn can lead to entirely new plot developments, but sometimes it's also going to mean avoiding this little trick altogether and falling back on narrative to impart your info. Dialogue often can be a smarter and more seamless way to impart information, but you can't make it work when it just isn't logical. 